what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be going over the best 84 overall rookie premieres that you should be using to win more games now if you guys enjoyed this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you're searching on youtube for mutt 24 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so this wasn't a video i planned on making but i've got this question so many times that i figured it might help some of you out by now all rookie premieres have likely rolled out to all players if you're missing content you should always go to help.ea.com but a lot of you receive rookie premieres these 84 overall cards from doing rookie premiere sets in what 23 and you're like which one should i have in the lineup which ability should I use? Who are the best ones? So we got you covered. Let me start with abilities. I will be up front here with you. I got a lot of these cards on my main account and my no money spent. I don't think I have one single ability on any of these cards. The abilities that are available on these 84 overall rookie premieres are just not worth it at all. They're not worth the AP. They're not even worth the training to unlock them. So you can run most of these by themselves without any abilities. And we're going to break it down by positional group. Let's start with quarterback. And this one is all about preference. If you did both of these sets for both CJ Stroud and Will Levis, try both of them out. See which one you like more. I personally am using the Will Levis card. He has the Slinger one release, which from the most part has been nerfed just a little bit compared to prior years, but I still think it's pretty good. He still gets the ball out rather fast without any like set beat lead or pass lead elite. Now he only has 77 speed. CJ Stroud's going to be faster, but Levis still can scramble if needed. I think 77 speed is pretty good. He has good throwing power at 85. Short throw only 78, but I think that's the least important out of the three accuracies. And then mid throw 83, deep 82. That's the main reason why I decided to go with this one first, because of the mid and the deep and the throw power and the fact that he had slinger one. His throw under pressure is only 79, but he has not missed a ton of throws, especially if I compare him to like the Bryce Young, the rookie or the, uh, the free card from the season one field pass, and even the 80 seven overall Kenny Pickett that I used for a couple days at launch this card has missed the least amount of throws and has the least amount of overthrows of the quarterbacks that I've used so far now CJ Stroud is not a terrible option he's got 82 speed 82 throw power his short throw was way better but like I said I think that's probably the least important of the three his mid and deep are still pretty good and I think a big reason a lot of people are trying him out is because he has that 86 throw under pressure which is not going to replace fear list at this point in the game but it's certainly going to help and be a lot better than the 79 so i'll definitely still try this card out i've just been using will levis on my main account over the weekend and i found that i really like that card so we'll, we'll see but i think it's all about preference both ones could be equally good so try them both out and figure out which one you like um there's kind of a tough decision at running back but to me it's a no-brainer this Bijan robinson card is amazing i've made so many plays with him in just a short period of time 84 speed 84 excel and i like the balance where he gives you the 80 trucking the 84 break tackle now jameer gibbs has 85 speed but he's not as well rounded uh Bijan robinson only 64 catch he has dropped a couple passes for me so be aware of that but overall this out of all the rookie premieres not just the running backs this has been one of the two cards that have really really stood out to me we'll talk about the other one when we get to defense wide receivers you got a handful of options i'm gonna narrow it down to two and and this is assuming that you guys did these rookie premiere sets for these specific players from 23 into 24. Hopefully a lot of you were able to get 32 of them done or at least somewhere between like 20 and 25. Zay Flowers is the fastest and he has good route running. It's pretty good across the board. 82 short, 83 mid, 83 deep. Catch, catch and traffic is all good as well. I play him as a slot receiver. You can play him on the outside as well. He's only 5'10", so he's not going to get any crazy aggressive catches and it's kind of hard to get separation away from DBs, you know, consistently. So keep that in mind. But I think he makes a good slot receiver and probably is the best receiver out of all of these rookie premier players.
players. The most well-rounded is going to be Jonathan Mingo because he's got 83 speed, so minus one compared to Zay, but he is taller at six foot two. Catch, catch, and traffic is good, and then he his route running just gets better as it goes up. So short is at 81, mid 83, and then deep 85. This is a really good one. If you can get both of them on the field and pair them with like the Kadarius Tony from the Headliners promo that you likely got free, or even the Odell Beckham that came from Solo Challenges, you got a nice little trio of BND wide receivers that you can use for the next couple weeks to assure that you can save your coins and maybe spend it on a more expensive, better receiver that gets better abilities. We all did the Darnell Washington set, and I mean, I advise you guys to do it as well, assuming he'd be the best tight end of all the rookie premieres. But I really think it's Brenton Strange. He's the fastest of the three at 81 speed. He's six foot four. I think Darnell Washington's six five. So they're not too different in height. And then he also has better route running, short at 84, mid at 80. But the key here is that he also has 70 run block, which is not only the best run block for the rookie premier tight ends, it's one of the better run blocks for all tight ends in the game. So I think this card, again, is just really, really well rounded, really versatile. He's, you know, the fastest, like I mentioned. He can just do it all so this is a pretty good pickup out there at tight end or a pretty good card to be using at tight end now the offensive line just got messed up because ea changed positions on a couple players same with the d-line and outside linebackers but at center you could be using or should be using john michael schmitz very good card 84 strength only 78 pass block but i haven't really noticed an issue there 84 run block 79 awareness one other thing that people are doing is moving him over to left guard and then still using Using Kevin Mawai, the free team captain, which can get up to an 85 overall, but at minimum is an 80 overall. A lot of people have been using Kevin Mawai at center and moving John Michael Schmitz over to left guard and playing him out of position. I think he's like an 80 overall at left guard, so that's certainly an option. Uh, Anthony Bradford is the only right guard, so obviously you're going to need to be using him if you have him, but I just wanted to point out he has 70 speed, so 86 strength, 82 awareness. Pass block is only 74. Run block is good at 83. The 70 speed, if you have any like halfback base plays or plays where your right guard needs to pull this is a good card to do those with because of the speed he's one of the faster guards in the game right or left so at right tackle Paris Johnson I believe was a left tackle in Madden 23 and for whatever reason they made him a right tackle so now we have three of them to choose from I still think Paris Johnson's the best offensive lineman or offensive tackle my apology so this is the one I would recommend using only 73 awareness but every Everything else is pretty good 86 strength 82 pass block and 82 run block not only did EA change around the offensive lineman position, but they also changed around outside linebackers and defensive ends. We now have like 47 outside linebackers in just one right end. So I'm going to narrow it down to the best two. And believe it or not, one card that I was not very high on in Madden 23 is one of the better ones. It's Lucas Van Ness, left outside linebacker, 80 speed, 83 acceleration, 81 tackle, block shed at 82, finesse move at 69 power move at 84. We're looking for the block shed power move finesse move to get at least two of the three in the 80s. He's one of the only rookie premier cards at either DN or outside linebacker that can get that. And I think another just very versatile, well-rounded card, the better of the two. And I promise you, I'm not being a homer here is Nolan Smith Jr. 85 speed at left outside linebacker. His block shed and power move are not very good, but finesse move is at 83 acceleration, 86. And he literally, has made more plays for me than the 87 overall Aiden Hutchinson. I'm not exaggerating. I don't even have a theme team right now, so he's not really boosted from that. This card has just been very, very good. And quarterbacks get outside the pocket a lot now and a lot of fast ones out there. We talked about CJ Stroud, Bryce Young. For him to be able to keep up with them at 85 speed is a key. He's a great option for QB spies as well. And if you use a contain, which is double tapping R1 on PlayStation or right bumper on Xbox, that will help quarterbacks, stopping quarterbacks from getting to the outside. Real quick, and some of you might know this already, but Nolan Smith and Lucas Van Ness, both left outside linebackers, you can still set them up on your defensive lineup screen like you see here but when you get to your specialist screen if you put one at rush left end and one at right end that will ensure that both of them are on the defensive line to be your primary pass rushers as defensive ends that's how I have it set up and that's definitely how uh, Nolan Smith has been getting home and just being so productive
perspective. Real quick, we're going to cover the cornerbacks in a moment here, but defensive tackle, middle linebacker, and then both free safety and strong safety, you only got one option there. So if you have the cards, you can certainly use them. There's a lot of really good options at cornerback, and hopefully you guys were able to do three, four, and maybe all five of the rookie premier cornerbacks. They're all kind of good in their own way, so I think Julius Brents would be considered the best of all because he's tied for the fastest at 84 speed and he's six foot three. but you want to stay away from playing man coverage with him. Only 78 press, 79 man. His zone is very good, same with acceleration and agility, but he will get beat over the top if you try to press and if you consistently put him in man coverage. So if that's your style of play, I, you know you might not be able to use this card or he's just not going to be as good for you. If you do need man coverage corners, Christian Gonzalez is a great option. Six foot one, 83 speed. It's not that much slower. 84 Excel, 85 agility, 86 jumping. Swats are really good this year as well. Uh, but he has 81 press and then 84 man coverage. On the flip side, his play rec and his zone aren't very good. So I would probably try to keep him, keep him in man coverage as much as you can. DJ Turner had the potential to be the best of all of them. I thought they'd give him 85 speed, considering he's one of the fastest players in regs far as far as ratings go uh, but they gave him 84 speed same with Brents and they made him an inch shorter right he was six foot even in the rookie premier Madden 23 content 5'11 in this year's game but he's actually played pretty well I've mainly had him as like a blitzing cornerback for the most part and he's another one you don't want to play in zone coverage only 77 zone but he does have 84 man 75 press you got to stay away from doing that as well so this card is good but just kind of more of a, a very specific role for him they definitely could have made him a lot better and they kind of hurt him and then the best like all around corner I still think Brents is the best but this one uh Emmanuel Forbes 6'1 83 speed 84 acceleration play rec is good his press stinks so again stay away from that but 85 man and 82 zone I think he's the only corner from all five of these rookie premieres that gets both man and zone in the 80 so hopefully this video helped out if it did do me a favor make sure you smash that thumbs up button those are the best 84 overall rookie premieres to be using in mutt 24 thank you guys for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace